Hey everybody and welcome back to another episode of Tanner's Favorite Things. I'm Tanner Knight and today we have a special unboxing for you. Just a few days ago, a musician's friend had a stupid deal of the hour, which is a promotion that they run every now and again. If you're not familiar with the stupid deal of the day, I highly suggest that you go ahead and check it out, maybe bookmark that page. You'll find some good gear at excellent prices. However, on stupid deal of the hour, they basically take that same exact type of concept and apply it to every hour and you get a new item every hour. So this is one of those items. Let's go ahead and peel in and take a look. All right, what we've got here is the MXL GCP1 RAW based on the box. This is a condenser microphone. Let's take a look at what we've got. So we've got an MXL little booklet here Guitar Cube Pro Condenser Microphone. That is, in fact, what we've got in this box. So, nice little package there. A cleaning cloth. Pretty nice. And inside the box, we have MXL Guitar Cube Pro. Got quite a glare from my light there, but I think you can read it there. So, this is what it looks like, all four sides. Also in the box, got a little condenser mic holder here that is threaded. And a faux leather, I think it's, yeah, faux leather carrying case. Let's go ahead and take it out of packaging here. So I see why they provide you with this cleaning cloth because this thing is very, very shiny. Let me just go ahead and clean it up real quick. All right, there we are, the MXL Guitar Cube Pro. Let's get some specs. So the MXL Guitar Cube Pro specifications read as such. We have a six micron condenser pressure gradient. Our frequency response is between 20 hertz and 20 kilohertz. Our polar pattern is cardioid, so it is not a bi-directional mic. Our output impedance is 100 ohms. Our maximum SPL is 140 decibels. Operating voltage requires a 48 volt phantom power. Its weight is 0.85 pounds, which is actually kind of weighty for a microphone. And you definitely notice the heft of this microphone when you pick it up. All right, let's go ahead and plug this into my Focusrite 18i20 audio interface and see how she sounds on a guitar cabinet. I'd also like to compare this against my other favorite condenser mic, which is my Audio-Technica 4033SE. And I would also like to compare it against the Sennheiser E906, which is a dynamic mic, but geared towards recording a guitar cabinet. All right, let's plug her in. All right, we've got the microphone set up in front of the cab. We're going into this Fryat 4x12 cab with the MXL Guitar Cube on the bottom right hand, your left hand side and the rest of the sound will be captured from this condenser mic right next to the camera, which is that Audio-Technica 4033. Let's hear how this microphone captures the cleans first. Today I'll be playing my 1987 Les Paul Custom. This is my number one guitar, love it. And I don't play it as frequently as I'd like to because it is my nicest guitar, but you're gonna hear it today. The Les Paul is plugged into the PV5150, the 120 watt beast behind me to my left and like I said, going into this Fryat 4x12 cab with B30s. Let's hear what that sounds like. So that's our cleans. This microphone is right on the cab. And I've got the gain set at about three on the Focusrite interface. We'll isolate this microphone in a second, but let's hear the crunchy channel on this 5150 using both condenser mics at once. recognizable metal sound 
Hopefully the microphone is doing a good job of representing that sound as it sounds to me in the room. So the reason I wanted to start with two condenser mics is because I usually mic a cabinet with at least two microphones. One right on the speaker and then one in the room. The condenser mic is great for capturing the room audio because it does a good job of keeping the ambient noise in the room down while capturing just what you want. This is really my first foray into having a condenser mic on the cabinet as well as a condenser mic for the room, so this will be interesting to hear how it sounds. But let's go ahead and hear how this microphone sounds, both isolated on the cab and then isolated as just a room mic, and then we'll compare it against the E906. Okay, here we've got the MXL Guitar Cube mic mixed to mono in the Focusrite, so this is just the mic on the cab. It's about two finger widths away, and it sounds like this. and some dirty with the microphone in a mono channel right on the cabinet. Let's hear it as a room microphone. Okay, next configuration. We have the guitar cube set up as a room mic. I'd say it's about four to five feet between the cabinet and right in front. So it's kind of smack dab in front of the center here. And I had to turn the gain up to about 50% on the Focusrite interface, but that's to be expected. So here's what this sounds like, both clean and dirty. MXL Guitar Cube used as a room capturing condenser mic. Next, the final comparison I want to do is the MXL Guitar Cube versus the Sennheiser E906, which is my current cabinet mic and my current favorite cabinet mic. All right, let's do some AV comparison using my old favorite guitar mic, which is the Sennheiser E906, and compare it against my potentially new favorite mic, question mark. Let's see and find out. What we have is the Sennheiser on speaker number one, we have the MXL Guitar Cube on speaker number two, so they are capturing two separate speakers here, but they are V30s, they're coming out of the same amp, same guitar, so it should be pretty same same across the board. I've adjusted the gain to match the volumes on either microphone, so I'll go ahead and play a little bit in clean and a little bit in dirty, and we'll repeat the playback using the audio from different microphones. So first up, here's the MXL in channel one.
And just for kicks, let's get a loop going through my Line 6 deal. capturing a guitar cabinet in the context of a traditional guitar rig. There's no fancy gimmicks here, just a straight up condenser microphone that requires 48 volt phantom power, but as long as you have an audio interface that can accommodate, you're good to go with this microphone. Let me know how you felt, whether you thought it was better as a cabinet mic right on the grill, or if it was a better room mic, or if it was better in the context of a couple different mics together. I'd also love to hear what your thoughts are versus the AB comparison versus the Sennheiser versus the MXL mic. So hopefully you like this content. If you do, feel free to like and subscribe if you'd like to see more. Hope to see you on the next one. Thanks again for watching.